Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You are watching Old Car Auto Guy, and today, well, we were hoping that today was going to be the day that we get the 35 inch tires and the lift kit done on the shop truck. That might be questionable. It all depends on what the schedule does today because by the looks of things, we are booked up quite heavily. So I've got a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about in the meantime as somewhat of a filler, just in case. So stay tuned. So one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about was some of our trade-ins recently. Standing in front of me here, or I am standing in front of a 2006 Ford Focus. And this Ford Focus is really in good shape and low, low mileage. Do you mind? Looking crows. It's only got 145,000 kilometers on it for a 2006. Now, a 10 year old vehicle should have 200,000 kilometers. Well, this is more than 10 years old. As you can see behind me, this car looks like it's in amazing shape. And as we take a closer look, I'll show you a little bit of what the imperfections were as to why we didn't give a whole lot for this car. So at first glance, when you take a look at this car, it looks like a cream puff. And for the most part, it really is. The exterior of this car is in pretty good shape. But if we get a little bit closer to these rocker panels, I'll show you what's going on. So at some point in time, somebody put outer rockers on it. They riveted, which they're not supposed to do, the bottom lip to the inside, which generally as a rule doesn't hold, and that bottom lip along there is starting to pull away. So we're gonna have to address that and get it tucked back up under there and put some weld on it. And what you don't see under there is the inner rocker has a little bit of rot too. We are gonna fix that up. We do have a young fella who is a subscriber looking to buy his very first car. And Braden, this is yours. So as we get this thing fixed up and go over it, we're still gonna run it through the shop. Braden is gonna give himself a really good car and we're gonna make sure that his first car is something that he'll be proud of. Now you look at the tires, it's got four winter tires on these wheels all the way around. The tires are still in decent shape. It also came with four all season or summer tires that were in the back of the car. So we've got those in stores. Those will go with this car. And again, we take a look around here. You'll notice that it is a ZX4. And for those of you who don't know much about Fords on these uh, Focuses, the ZX4 was a trim level that you could get. Now this one is trimmed up really nice. It's got the fog lights in the front. It's got the wheels here. It's also got the spoiler on the trunk, heated seats, steering wheel mounted radio controls, you know, lots of little stuff like that. So again, great first car. It's gonna be reliable. It's got a lot of life left in it. So Braden, I hope you're happy with your Ford Focus. Now in the last video, I did do a headlight restore on this Chevy Aveo. So let's take a quick peek at it. Still shining up really good other than a little bit of dew across the top of it, but they still look like brand new headlights. And as we come inside here, we have this 2011 Ford Escape. It's a limited model, which means it has everything. Sunroof, it's got the leather, Microsoft Sync, it's got fog lights, all the goodies there, V6, all wheel drive. This vehicle is a high miler. We got it cheap, but you'll notice there's a couple of little dings. There's one here in the fender. There's a little door ding in the door there. And typical of these Ford Escapes is the paint is peeling along the leading edge of the fender on both sides, as well as around the door handle. And this underside edge of the tailgate. Now, when I say high miler, I'm not kidding. This thing has 295,000 kilometers. We sold this vehicle to our customer back, oh, I think it was four years ago. And four years ago, it had 130,000. So I don't think this thing's ever shut off the whole time they had it in four years. Nevertheless, mechanically, it wasn't in that bad a shape. It did need four tires. It needed sway bar links front and rear, and it needed new pads and rotors in the front. All that stuff is just regular maintenance. Now, those of you who are Ford purists know that the wheels that are on this thing are not limited 
wheels. They are just regular XLT. Well, that's what came on this with the uh, tires that are there. The wheels that came with it as well were these 16 inch limited models. Now the tires that were on here were absolutely beat. They were chewed right down to the steel wires. They were also oxidized pretty bad. The clear coat was peeling and they looked like crap. So we sanded them down, we refinished them, and we've got new tires showing up today. And once we get those new tires, we'll get them mounted and balanced, get them on the vehicle, then we can do those few little paint touch-ups. The rest of the mechanical repairs are done. So, back in about two episodes ago, was it two episodes ago when I showed you Junior's graduation? Junior got Mama's Veloster for graduating high school. That meant that Mama had nothing to drive. Well, essentially she's been driving Grandma for the last week and we've been trying to find her something basically to get her through the summer. She said, and I quote, I don't care what it is as long as it's got air conditioning. So, guess what Mama's gonna be driving for the summer? That's right, she's gonna be driving the 2011 Ford Escape. We're getting that fixed up just for her. New tires, brakes, getting everything all fixed up, squeaks and rattles, and yes, the air conditioning does work. You're welcome, honey. I love you. So once again, despite the mileage, we're gonna have this thing looking as good as new, and it won't be that bad. I make fun of my wife for her saying that, you know, I'll drive anything as long as it's air conditioning, but this really is going to be a good, reliable vehicle for her. Um, she's not traveling far for work anymore, and she just basically needs uh, some basic transportation. So even if she doesn't like driving this and she does fall in love with grandma, I'm okay with that because you know what? I like these Ford Escapes as well. And maybe it's something that I will drive for the, for the summertime. So anyways, that is it on the trade-in updates. Let's go out and take a look at the lot. And any of you keeners out there who have been noticing in the background of the shop, these mufflers here, yes, those are for grandma. So stay tuned for an upcoming video on that. So as we come out here to the lot, we do have a few holes here. The uh, 2014 Chevy Sonic, the little blue one, that sold last week. And if we come down here on the other end, the 2013 white Hyundai Sonata. Now I told you guys about this in a previous video. It used to sit right here. That's what we sold. We took the Ford Escape on trade. Uh, for the sale of that so that car is now gone and because it's graduation time or we're just getting past graduation time things generally tend to slow down on the sales end of things so those are the only two sales we've had over the last week so uh, we're hoping that things will pick up both myself and Bill have got a few leads going as I told you earlier in the video the Ford Focus once we get that fixed up for Braden that will be going out and uh, other than that, we're, we've got a few irons in the fire. We're hoping to get some things settled in here fairly quickly. All right, guys, I promised and I am following through. Today, I'm gonna get my hands dirty. I figured the only way that we were gonna get this done was if I tackled it myself. So I started tearing everything apart, took the upper control arm off. And the reason why we went this route rather than just taking out the big bolt down at the bottom is because that big bolt is seized in there. So we took apart the upper control arm, we took apart the link down at the bottom, took the brakes off so that we could drop this whole thing. And here's what we came across. These two studs right here are closer together than this way and this way, which means this is positioned inside that strut perch up there in a specific orientation. When I take the wheel spacer and put it in place, it only fits on there one way like so and what it does is it takes these two studs that are close together and repositions them over here which means this has to come out anyway and be flipped 180 degrees so that's where we are I'll touch base with you again once we get it flipped around So the solution to our problem with the bottom bolt not coming out was torches. We in turn ruined the old strut. So as you can see we got the new strut in there, the lift kit is installed, everything is just about buttoned up back together except for the axle nut. This 
is the axle nut. Broken. Now why, Ford, why did you decide that a small little nut like that is all it takes to hold an axle in is beyond me. There we go. So, time to order an axle. It's crap like this is why I don't do this every day. I got a lot of patience, just not this much. So I forgot to do a before and after shot on the height, but judging by the rear, compared to the front, the front is way, way higher. So with the leveling kit, they both should have been somewhere around 39 inches. And we are now at about 41 and a half. So we've come up quite a bit and uh, we're gonna finish up this entire job and then we'll show you the finished product. So to answer your question, can you fit 35 inch tires on a Ford F-150? Take a look for yourself. best part of the whole thing is absolutely minimal rubbing and I'll show you the only place that it is and it's just barely touching my concern was right back in here but it's not rubbing there and if you look right in here on that little air dam when the wheels are cut to the right you don't get the rub but when they're cut to the left like it is right now you do get a very slight bit of rub and the only reason why it's rubbing is because that air dam looks like it's been kicked back a little bit at some point in time so my guess is that if it was factory brand new you could put 35 inch tires I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes here you could put 35 inch tires on this truck zero rubbing all we did was the lift kit or the leveling kit and we did not have to use the wheel spacers so guys let me know in the comment section below what you think well guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Old Car Auto Guy. I hope you enjoyed the look of the new shop truck and uh, some of the struggles that we had trying to get there. But I think it's really going to make that truck and uh, I'm really impressed with it so far. This video is also sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. Sussex sponsors my beard and uh, they have a product for you as well, whether you're bearded or not. So head on over there and check them out. I'm going to put the link in the description box below as well as flash it up on the screen and uh, you can go over there and see what they have to offer. Also, still looking for license plates. If you've got any spare ones kicking around, send them my way, I'd appreciate it. I can use those to finish up project wall art and uh, we'll be getting back to that video really, really soon. Also, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is starting back up very soon. On July the 11th, it'll be hosted first on Street Six Fans page and his link is in my description box as well. Head on over there. If you're not subscribed to him, please do so. We talk a lot about car talk and how to help grow your YouTube channel if you have a channel of your own. And we have a lot of fun. We usually have about 20 to 30 guests each night and it takes place at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern or nine Atlantic time. So guys, I hope to see you there. And uh, the following week, it will be on my channel. And as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.